At the Clear Creek ISD, all other grades resume classes this morning. The district has something exciting planned for the students. Yes, they are renovating their robotics building to encourage more students to consider a career in STEM. Our Brittany Jeffers joining us live from Clear Lake High with a closer look at the changes. Brittany, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. Certainly an exciting day and a lot to discuss. We have about two hours to go until the bell rings here at 710 at Clear Lake High School. And as you mentioned, there was a bit of a staggered start uh, for the grade levels this year for the district. As we reported, Monday was the very first day for students in pre-K, early childhood education, kindergarten, sixth and ninth grade students. But today, the doors open for in-person learning for all other grade levels. Now, district officials say that they are following the guidance from the state and masks will continue to be optional, although strongly recommended. And first day elementary traditions, things like photos, meet the teacher uh, before class, that will all be held outdoors. Now, we want to focus on something very unique to this district. However, this is the 26th year of the robotics program and we got to look at some of the finishing touches inside of the Learner Support Center where schools from all across Texas will come to compete in the robotics program. Now, Clear Creek ISD is currently the only district in the area with space specifically allocated for robotics events. Now that we have a permanent home and this facility stays set up like this year round, we had over 25 events here last season. We only had 18 football games in our stadium. So just to tell you how often and how many kids are competing in robotics. So the robotics and engineering program manager tells us the district is very unique in the fact that they offer firsthand experiences for elementary age students all the way up through 12th grade. Now, it's very impressive um, and a lot of work that goes in to participating in robotics. So coming up in the next hour, we're going to show you this new space, but also hear from a fourth grader and a graduate on why they chose to participate. You don't want to miss it. Reporting live this morning on Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. Sounds great, Brittany. We'll see you in just a little bit.